You guys, this is a setup. Let me see. Are you able to see me? I have good lighting at first. Smoke? Yes, it is. Anyways, you guys, welcome back. Okay, so I have my setup here. If you seen it, you guys will be busting up laughing, okay? I have the ironing board here, okay? And then on top of the ironing board, I've got the ice chest, and then I have my camera. You have to improvise. Some days you just have to do what you have to do. This is my background today, okay? This is it, nothing fancy. Nothing. Those two doors are kind of cute though because if you open them, there's this beautiful tub in there. Okay, we're not here for that, Shrey. Okay, so here are the fragrances I will be telling you about today. We are still talking about fragrance for Mother's Day. I wanted to get at least one last video in about fragrances for Mother's Day. You guys, I wanted to take 2.5 seconds, get it, 2.5, 2.5 seconds to tell you about some not older, I guess, I don't like the word older. Some classic fragrances that I think would be really nice for Mother's Day. They are amazing. Um, I was looking at some of them. Beautiful by Estee Lauder is an amazing, beautiful floral fragrance. It's really nice. Pleasure is a really nice fragrance that's out. Um, these are older fragrances. Miracle was the one back in the day. Remember that? Miracle was one. Red Door was one. That's probably kind of way too heavy, but it was definitely a, um, a scent. My teacher used to wear that. Oh my God, every time I smelled Red Door, I just thought like I was gonna get in trouble because you know I was talking in class she was always like Sheree stop talking so you know red door is a really nice one I have some other ones that I did pick up you guys yes I do have two Tom Fords in here okay and I also have a couple of uh, Chanel's in here as well I am doing a Chanel top five fragrances so that will be coming soon so make sure you check on the channel for that let's not make this very formal I'm doing this kind of vlog style I guess I should say just sitting here let's just cozy up grab a snack grab a lemonade grab a coffee I don't know whatever you like grab something and let's just check I went to Sephora yesterday and I seen and stumbled and came across a new fragrance that was I didn't know she said it just came out I had never heard of it I didn't see anything on this fragrance coming up it's by Dolce & Gabbana it's this one here it's called oh is this it yeah it's Dolce & Gabbana Sun and it smells amazing if I can grab pictures of any of these you guys I'll put them up just so that you can see what I've been talking about this smell really really good this smelled so good on a first initial spray while I was in the store I was ready to buy it but they only have the larger ones and I told you I'm not really into buying larger fragrances because I have so many I just don't get through them and I just don't like it a waste so I just say if it doesn't have a smaller size I'm probably not gonna buy it but this one was so good I really thought about buying it some of the notes that this one has in here let's spray it it's fresh immediately I'm not gonna we don't have I have a lot of fragrances to get through you guys I won't be able to go through all the notes and hues and everything like that these are just suggestions and recommendations for a lack of a better word of the same word okay it's really really good I may have to look for a small one this is light blue Sun this is woody citrus fresh spice vanilla it has a lot of coconut it smells very very summery very spring summer it smells and I don't want to say this dare I say it I must tell the truth when I smell this you guys I get Tom Ford Soleil Blanc yes yes I do I get those vibes that's what it's giving me it's giving me summer it's giving me sexy tropical vacation yes so if you're looking for a new one you can jump in really quick to Sephora and try out Dolce Gabbana Sun if you're thinking of gifting that to someone if they like fresh clean airy coconut uh, like I said vanilla woody citrus this is a great one to check out and so that is Dolce Gabbana light blue Sun this smells amazing okay let's move on you guys another one I picked up here Tom Ford Portofino Tom Ford Portofino smells amazing. It's really a good one. It's really nice. It's perfect for, where are my notes? Cause you know, even, hello, out of my space, she still has notes. This one here is Jasmine Rouge. Oh no, 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 that's the next one I'm telling you about. This one is Tom Ford Portofino. And it has white florals, it's citrus, it has a couple of other florals in it. To me it was very, I wanna say aquatic. It just smelled like being at the beach. It smelled very good. Let's spray it here. Oh, this is fresh. This is clean. This is, but you know what? This is giving me a vibe where I want to be dressed. You know what I mean? I want to be going somewhere. I could wear this on a yacht. 
I could definitely wear this to a nice white party. Think of summer, um, think of spring nights, you know, about 7.30ish and you're going somewhere, you've got a nice brim white hat on, you've got mirrored sunglasses, nice frames, big ones, you know, oversized. This is definitely what this vibe is. And you're just walking through a light heel on, nothing too stiletto-ish, you know, um, just a nice light heel on. Oh, I'm going there with this. This is where this is taking me and I absolutely love it. So if you want something fresh, clean, little bit of floral, like I said, it has some citrus in it. It's sweet, it's got some honey in it. You could smell all that. This is amazing. I would give Tom Ford, it's in the blue bottle, a try. Uh, it smells really, really good if you're looking for that. Tom Ford Portofino. Another one I tried from Tom Ford. I have been wearing this one. I picked it up a couple weeks ago and I've been wearing it because I was saying, what do you have? What's new? What will be good for Mother's Day? A sales associate recommended Jasmine Rouge. And I said, really? I've not heard of that. So she said, well, let me let you smell it. She goes, it's very, very floral. Sometimes whenever they say floral, I automatically, you know, I'm like, eh. When you smell floral, it smells very old very stuffy, very low kitten heel-ish, you know what I mean? And it's just like, no. But I smelt this and the initial does smell kind of like, oh. But then as it dries down, as it wears on the body, the longevity is there, it warms up, it gets really sweet, and it's really, really nice. Jasmine Rouge by Tom Ford is what I'm referring to. And let's take a whiff of this. I'm gonna actually spray this. I know how it wears on myself, so I'll spray it on a card here that I have, and my hands. See? It's good though, but it does smell, I'm gonna be honest. It smells a little mature, okay? It smells a little mature, but in the best way possible. Not a mature of a stuffy mature, but just a mature of like, it's not young, vibrant, fresh, and flirty. It is more white florals, very sweet, almost, uh, like a white flower, but more like um, like a lily. You know what I mean? Like a lily. Think of a lily. Very classic, very, you know, sophisticated, put together, very elegant, very graceful. It's that type of woman who's wearing this. You'll get, she'll walk past and you'll get a whiff to her and you'll think twice before you say anything because you know she has it together. That's what this woman is, but not in a boss kind of way. Not a boss woman like having it together. Just like a woman who's, you know, seen life a little bit she's you know she's she's been there yeah so if you have something you want to give to someone that's a little bit more mature I would definitely say check out Tom Ford Jasmine Rouge okay something for everyone is here then we talked about um, Creed this is it Creed here all these are just little samples you guys this is love in white I think I heard Michelle Obama wore this and it smells amazing if you're looking for something to give someone and they are of that, you know, particular. Yes. Oh, let's just put some on. You know how I feel about it. This one doesn't have a sprayer, but it's really nice. I like it. Let me give you some of the notes. And I said, didn't I just say I wasn't going to give some of the notes? Love and White here by Creed smells amazing. If you have somebody that like floral, it's kind of powdery, citrus, it's got yellow florals, white florals, it's woody. It's really, really good. It's really, really expensive. You guys, I'll leave the information and everything in the description box below. But this is a really nice gift if you like to give someone this for Mother's Day. You can give it to yourself she's definitely gifting a few fragrances to herself for Mother's Day so I definitely would say this would be a way to go another one would be here Chanel Gabrielle this is really a nice one you guys this could be worn I always said I have a full video on this on the channel I will put a link above so that you can see that let's spray that up here this is good oh my gosh it just takes me back to Paris this smells so amazing. You can wear this anywhere. Day, night, brunch, wedding, uh, Mother's Day. Hello. Am I, should I wear this on Mother's Day? This might be the sin of the day. Check back on Mother's Day. We'll see what we're wearing. Why don't you guys all let me know what is your fragrance going to be for Mother's Day? But this is a really, really good one. This is fresh. This is clean. This has definitely got some white florals in it. It's got a lot going on. It's light. It's not old. It smells... I have not seen this smell bad on anyone. Anytime I've seen someone wear this or, you know, smelt somebody that wore this, I'm always like, oh my God, you smell really good. What are you wearing? And they always say Gabrielle Chanel. It's a really nice one. I 
have not paired this at a time where it didn't work whether it was night whether it was day whether it was summer whether it was spring I definitely think it's more of a spring summer but I have worn it in the fall winter as well and I have liked it just the same but this is a really nice one it's not doing the most so it's a nice light scent it's not very heavy but you definitely will smell it and the longevity on this is really nice as well and another one that would be really good would be Coco Mademoiselle, we all know about that one. That is one that's just, you know, a classic. It's iconic. We all know about it. It smells amazing. Love how they have that in there. So this one here, you guys, this is no stranger. Everybody knows about this one. So this one, we know the notes in, or maybe you don't. It's got some vanilla. Let's see what else does it have in it. Tonka bean, oh, my absolute favorite. A little bit of uh, Madagascar. It's very sensual. I think it is. It can be worn year round to me, you guys. It's really nice i have this one this is a lot though so if you have somebody that's like they don't want to smell overpowering they don't want to smell like they are doing the most i would not recommend this one for them because no matter who i smell this on i automatically know they're wearing coco mademoiselle they do have a coco mademoiselle intense but this one here is still my favorite the original the intense really does smell intense i have a whole video regarding this one on my channel as well so i'll put a link above so that if you want more details on it you can check that out this is a really good way to go if you give anybody coco chanel for mother's day i think they would be very grateful i know i would be hello just in case anybody's listening yes she would be very happy um it just smells really good it smells it's just a classic to me it could be kind of loud it could be kind of you know in your face to some so this won't be for everybody you have to make sure that they like those scents but really know that it is on the stronger side so those are the ones that I am reaching for for Mother's Day those are the ones that I have with me look at those let me know your thoughts on them if you have any of them if you've used any of them what are your thoughts on them I thought this was really cool I love fragrances I always tell you fragrance is a great way to connect reconnect with the memory all these fragrances that I have that I've sprayed so far that were not new I have already tied a memory to them and so I just love fragrance and I see that you guys love it as well if you have any comments or any recommendations suggestions anything that you want to see me do more with fragrance please leave it in the comment section below I am wishing all of you amazing mothers a happy fabulous Mother's Day. Treat yourself. Do something nice for yourself. Um, we oftentimes give to everyone else and I always say to my um, clients and to my friends and to family members that I talk to that it's nearly impossible to take care of everybody else when you neglect yourself. So you know take care of yourself. Do something nice for yourself. Doesn't always have to be something that involves a ton of money. I know myself I like to um I like to just go in my room and just chill out. Somebody was asking me the other day, like, what do I do when I'm alone? And what do I like to do when I'm alone? And I was like, I don't know. I like to watch YouTube. I like to watch unboxings. I like to watch fragrance videos. I like to watch try-on hauls. I like to watch um, decorating videos. So that's what I do. I just go. I find a quiet place and I just chill out. Um, if I could ever get away with eating and not gaining a pound, okay? If I could ever do that, I would find myself the most amazing Mexican restaurant and I would just sit out and indulge in a big plate of nachos, flautos, taquitos, salsa, chips, guacamole, sour cream. Oh my God, now I'm getting hungry. But yeah, that's what I would do. If calories were free, if I had one thing I could eat and gain no weight, that's what I would do for Mother's Day. I would just eat the entire day and just hang out and have a good time. I would definitely smell good, definitely look fabulous, have Chanel somewhere in the area, whether it be earrings, clothing handbags something those are things that make me happy and I definitely think it's a day to make yourself happy let those around you love you and make you happy and if you're not a mother and you're a woman okay and you're celebrating your mother then do something that makes the both of you happy I like those kind of dates too where if you're taking your mother out you can both get spa treatments like a pedicure and a manicure or massages or facials that way she can get something I could get something you know it's a two-for-one but we're both getting something those are always good as well I love taking someone out to dinner why because she can eat too we can partake in the fun together and then to give somebody a nice little bottle of perfume or something like that would be really nice you guys it has been great thanks for staying here listening to me ramble and chat I was in the hotel I thought I'd just take advantage and shoot another video I mean I brought my camera with me I am committed to this okay so look for more to come like I said leave in the comment section what you want to see and I will definitely 
be interested in hearing about it and if I can make a video on it and I can share some tips, something that can inform, educate, entertain, or help someone, I will definitely do it. You guys, I appreciate you more than you know. Thanks so much for being here. Hi. Oh, wait a minute. Oh my God, I didn't even say it. Hello? Excuse you, Sheree? What are you doing with your life? I don't know. I don't know why we do this. If it's catching air, grabbing air, I don't know, but I see the girls on TV like, hello, hello, okay. We guys let that go. If it is your first time watching, yes, this is somewhat generally the vibe. This isn't the setup, this is definitely the vibe. And you like what you've seen here, smash that subscribe button. If you wanna ensure you never miss a video, tap the bell. I do post every Sunday and every Wednesday, two times a week over here. But if you wanna connect, you don't have to wait for just Sunday and Wednesday. Meet me over on my Instagram. I will put the Instagram handle here. It is at Sheree's Lifestyle. Meet me over there. I am there every single day. If you have any questions or anything like that, sometimes people are really shy. They don't like leaving their questions there. You can always DM me. I do my best to try and respond to every single DM and every single comment that I get because without you guys, there is no me. So I feel like we are a team and we are in it together. Thank you so much. You know the deal. Be blessed, stay fit, and definitely stay fabulous. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye!